A paper is a material made from a thin sheet made from cellulose pulp. It is a thin material that is manufactured by interweaving vegetable cellulose fibers. Remind, we have a giveaway of a $100 valued item of your choice for the first 1,000 subscribers. Hurry up and don't miss it. Paper is used for both writing and printing and is composed of cellulose that is transformed into pulp through mechanical or chemical processes depending on the process it undergoes. This gives rise to different types of paper in terms of stiffness and whiteness. Paper is a structure obtained based on cellulose vegetable fibers that interlace to form a resistant and flexible sheet. These fibers come from trees that can be pine or eucalyptus. Depending on the cellulose refining process, it is classified as mechanical or chemical, each of which gives rise to different types of paper. The use of paper as a means of collecting our thoughts, ideas, and feelings is very important for human communication since it allows us to transcend the limits of time. If a rigid paper is required, such as wrapping paper, cardboards, and boxes, the cellulose will undergo a mechanical process. On the other hand, if an excellent presentation paper is needed for writing or printing, the cellulose is bleached through a chemical process. Before the invention of paper, Chinese scribes wrote using a rigid tip on strips of wood or bamboo, but these materials did not facilitate writing. The appearance of the printing press generated an increase in the use of paper from the 15th century, causing a shortage of these materials. This led to the reduction in the cost of printing books and stimulated the manufacture of paper. Since then, Paper has become one of the emblematic products of our culture, manufactured through a wide variety of vegetable fibers. Later, most paper has been made from wood pulp due to its lower cost. However, textile fibers continue to be used today for the manufacture of high-quality papers. The paper industry has been in constant development, and during the 20th century, it reached high levels of production. The United States and Canada are the world's largest producers of pulp paper and paper derived products every year only in the united states more than 8 million tons of office and important document papers are printed copied and drawn we all want quality paper but to make special paper special trees are needed some of the tallest in the world these are the populated eucalyptus mountains of clint area cruz in the heart of portugal eucalyptus is among the tallest trees in the world and arrived from Australia in the 19th century, where Aborigines used them to make huts and koalas to hang on to them. Nowadays, they are used to make everything, from cleaning liquids to cough tablets and paper. It is 9 a.m., and the temperature is already around 35 degrees Celsius. Despite the scorching heat, two huge beasts are already moving and look hungry. In the menu of these mechanical monsters, there are the 25,000 square meters of fresh foliage that they have to collect every day to start the paper manufacturing process. But to shred all these trunks, good jaws are needed, and there are few more powerful than these. Equipped with chainsaw teeth and studded metal molars, each of these 24-ton machines is capable of chewing trunks as if they were toothpicks. Once a tree is selected. The hydraulic jaws of the harvester grip the base, and the industrial chainsaw makes good use of the trunk. To choose the direction in which the giant tree should fall, the driver Arlindo handles the levers. The reality is that, despite his years of experience, he is never 100% sure where the tree will fall, and a wrong movement of the controls could result in more than just wounded pride. Once on the forest floor, the machine uses its metal teeth to remove the bark, and branches, and the chainsaw cuts the trunk into more manageable pieces. Working at maximum power, the machine can cut and chop a eucalyptus in less than 30 seconds. As it moves through the forest, the harvester leaves behind piles of logs weighing several tons. However, a wheelbarrow is not enough to collect all of these logs, and a bulldozer is needed. This machine, which grabs logs as if they were chopsticks, can handle anything the tough terrain and armored eucalyptus trees throw at it. Eucalyptus has short fibers that are ideal for making quality paper, so this company cuts down about six million of these trees every year. Of course, more demand means more trees, so every year, 
Eight million new eucalyptus trees are planted on this farm. The manipulation of these plants is a job that requires great concentration and precision, which is why there are no men in sight. As each future tree passes through the chain, it undergoes some pruning. This quick pruning is not for aesthetic purposes, but to prevent water loss and contamination, provided they receive sunlight and plenty of moisture. These shrubs will be ready for felling in just 12 years, three times faster than the trees traditionally used for making paper, such as pine. Once the logs are loaded, they are ready to travel to the paper mill on the Portuguese Atlantic coast. It is one of the largest in the business, covering nearly two square kilometers, and produces about 820,000 tons of quality office paper every year. However, producing so much paper requires too much wood. The problem is that while some logs arrive clean and ready for action, others still have bark on them and must be removed by giving the trunk a couple of shakes in the mother of all vibrators. Next, the logs are treated as if they were sausage meat, going into a crusher, where they are crushed to create 30 meter high mountains of wood chips. This is a paradise for a hamster, but there is still a long way to go before it becomes paper. The cellulose fibers that the paper mill needs are trapped in the chips, but nature binds these fibers together with an unpleasant chemical agent, lignin. Lignin is what causes paper to discolor like an old treasure map, so it must be removed. To do this, a machine called a jester is used, which works with a combination of caustic soda, heat, and pressure. To reach the short fibers of the eucalyptus, the purified and bleached pulp is fed into enormous drums lined with closed discs that pound it relentlessly. This paper mill produces 1,500 tons of pulp per day. To convert so much pulp into paper, a colossal machine is needed. This giant measures 220 meters in length and produces enough paper to wallpaper 2,500 soccer fields per day, and the paper mill has two. As the pulp enters at one end, a sieve releases excess water. Then, the wet paper carpet flies through the machine at 90 kilometers per hour. A series of giant rollers dry it, and then flatten and prepare it to form a colossal sheet. By the time the eucalyptus wood has reached this point, it has been through an industrial hell, and this is a journey that does not go unnoticed by the factory manager, Carlos Vieira. Here, many disciplines are combined, such as chemistry, physics, automation, electrical and mechanical engineering. Many things have to be done that people are not aware of when they use a simple sheet of paper to print. But before our trash, can is full. We'll need to make a couple of cuts to these huge rolls of 85 meter diameter paper, except for those who find it difficult to carry 60 tons of paper to the cutting area. That's why a crane capable of handling even the largest toilet paper roll in the world is used, along with a chain of steel cutting machinery. Even so, the resulting pieces are too large for a regular printer. To make the rolls more suitable for our photocopier, and tireless team of loading robots comes into action, carrying the cylinders to the packaging area, where they're cut into more manageable pieces, stacked, and sent on conveyor belts to the area where they will be packaged. Every year, this company alone produces 80 million stacks like these, enough to circle the world nearly 300 times. Once the paper is packaged, it's ready to do its job, and its epic journey from the raw material to the four-pack is complete. Remember, you can subscribe to the channel and give it a like if you enjoyed the content. Bye-bye, Hawaii.